Thanks so much, Natalie. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look here at something I want to share with you about the immune system. It is your immune system that protects you from outside invaders, from pathogens like viruses, bacteria, fungus, um, mold, parasites, all of those things. Um, it's your immune system that helps you recover after an illness. And uh, the important thing about the immune system is that right now in the world that we're living in with this coronavirus, um, you need your immune system to be functioning as well as it can possibly function. So let's take a look for a moment at the uh, Body Code app. I want to show you uh, how the immune system is in the Body Code app and what it actually consists of. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to uh, the circuits and systems area right here. And I'm going to just touch that. I'm actually looking at the, I, uh, at the Body Code app on my iPhone. Okay. So uh, you're seeing what I'm doing on there. So let's go to the systems area, which is just on the left side right here. We'll touch that button. And over on the right side, you can see uh, we've got, these are all the systems of the body. And on the right side, fourth one down, we have the immune uh, lymphatic system. And so you can see we have things like bone marrow, liver, spleen, the appendix, pyres, patches, tonsils, adenoids, thymus, lymph nodes. All of these components together help to create your immune system. And so if we take a look at um, the immune system, what we can do is we can actually ask uh, the subconscious mind how well a person's immune system is functioning. And how this came about was I was in my practice one day and I worked a lot with people who were suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is this uh, unremitting chronic pain that's all over the body that's kind of mysterious according to Western medicine and uh, has no known cause and no known cure and so on. Well, those were the kind of people that I saw, uh, people that had been told there really was no hope for them, that they would never be able to get well. And uh, one day, I'm talking with this uh, patient of mine, and she is uh, telling me how she has all of these symptoms. She's got this terrible chronic fatigue and terrible fibromyalgia. And I remember I I'm talking with her, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, it would be really great if I could just find out how well her immune system is really working, because that would be such a great indicator of how healthy or unhealthy this woman really is. And uh, so while I was standing there talking with her, I actually just offered a silent prayer and asked God to help me. Uh, and I got this answer. And the answer that came was, well, wh why don't you just ask? And I thought, oh, oh, that's a good idea. I'll just ask. And so I did. And so for all the years that I was in practice from that point on, I would always uh, ask each patient that I saw how well their immune system was working as a percent of its total capability. It's kind of a general indicator. I mean, I wouldn't bet my house on this. I wouldn't bet my life on this. But the subconscious mind will give you a number. Now, that capacity can change. So in other words, if you find out that today your immune system is functioning at 80% of its capability, um, and maybe you work on it and you bring it up to 90% of its capability, it may be that in a few days that's changed a bit because your body is becoming healthier and more capable. And so the immune system capacity increases. But this can give you an idea uh, how well things are working with, uh, with a person. So uh, you basically simply ask the subconscious mind, is your immune system functioning at 100% of its capacity or capability? And the subconscious will give you an answer back. Now, you can, of course, do this with someone else through muscle testing them. Or you, if you know how to do the self-testing, you can do it yourself. And um, you can actually get an answer. And I've taken this answer. You'll get a percentage, 62%, you know, 87%, whatever. You can take that out to multiple decimal points if you want to, okay? I've done that before. I've taken that to, I think, five decimal places. Because the subconscious mind is a computer, and uh, it can calculate numbers like this. And then as you remove imbalances that are going on in the body, it will improve that immune function, 
you see. And you can do this yourself. A lot of the time when we think about uh, what to do to improve our immune function, we're thinking about things like echinacea and golden seal and taking vitamin C. And those are all great things. But guess what? There are other things that will decrease your immune system capacity. Let's take a look at the body code. Really, all of the things that are in the body code will reduce your immune system's ability to really function optimally. So, for example, if you have some kind of a pathogen in the body, uh, that's going to reduce your immune system function because your immune system is busy fighting whatever it is. Uh, if you have misalignments going on, you're not going to have as good, of, uh, as, as good communication as you need to between the brain and the organs and glands and tissues of the body. So the, the immune system, therefore, is going to be diminished a little bit. If you get out of nutrition and lifestyle, if you're deficient in a certain vitamin or mineral, uh, maybe you need a certain... Hold on a minute. Maybe you need... Uh, let, let's actually go in there for a minute. I need to remember to touch this on my phone and not on my computer. Any of these things that are in the body code, and there are a thousand different topics in here, any of these will decrease your immune system some more than others. But the whole point is that as you remove these imbalances and fix these imbalances, then the immune system is going to function better. And so, for example, in the energies area at the top, we have uh, emotions, we have trapped emotions. I personally have seen the immune system improve by as much as 20 percentage points, according to muscle testing, uh, with the release of just one single trapped emotion. Think about that. So in this day and age that we're living in, when we have this pandemic that's raging around the world, what is it that keeps one person versus another person alive and healthy? Well, it's just the immune system. That's it. It's, uh, it's not the medications that they're taking. It's not, uh, uh, it's not anything else, really. It's the immune system, you see. And uh, so this is what you can do with the body code. You can actually improve the immune function of the body. And you can remove things like uh, energetic toxins and things. And you'll find out if you've got imbalances going on in the body in lots of different areas. And you can, uh, you can learn what to do for those things and remove those imbalances so that you can function better and be healthier. And that's really what it is all about, okay? Uh, of course, the Discover Healing app that I'm looking at here on my phone also includes the emotion code. And we actually have the emotion code chart. Down here at the bottom, there's a little, uh, a little four, looks like a, a, like a square window. You touch that, and it brings up the emotion code chart. So you'll always have this with you. And um, uh, when you're finding a trapped emotion, you can ask if it's in column A or B. You'll be taken to a certain column and row, and then you can just touch that, and it brings it up into focus. And then if you touch any one of those, you'll actually get the, uh, the definition of that. Okay. So um, anyway, I want to share that with you. And uh, one of the things that you can also do is you can ask your own subconscious mind or the subconscious mind of your loved ones, uh, how can I improve my immune function or what can we do to improve your immune function? And then use the body code to get the answers to that. And uh, you just simply find and address those imbalances one by one. It works really, really well. So imbalances are often emotional, at least in the beginning. Trapped emotions are the number one most common thing that, uh, the most common kind of imbalance that will decrease your immune system function. Trapped emotions, number one. 80% of, um, of the trouble that we have is actually due to our emotional baggage. And so when you first start working with people, you find lots of emotional baggage. And then as you start getting rid of all that, then a lot of the time other things will start to show up. But the body code is nice because it covers basically everything. Um, deficiencies of various vitamins, minerals, things like that, toxicity. But really, anything in the body code can be um, something that can decrease your immune function. Now, there are nutrients that I think are really more important than others uh, when you are dealing with this situation that we have going on right now. And these are things like vitamin C, vitamin D, very important. Trace minerals, often forgotten, but extremely important, especially selenium, uh, manganese, magnesium. Those are really critically important, and, have, and studies have shown that, um, that these help 
with viral problems. Uh, one of the other things, there's a lot of research that has been done on nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is uh, uh, it's the, the third key gas in the body. There's oxygen, um, carbon dioxide, and then nitric oxide. And nitric oxide helps oxygen to actually enter the cells of the body. They have found that nitric oxide is also um, effective, apparently, in helping the body to deal with viral infections, uh, as well as other kinds of infections. And so there are a lot of uh, grants that are being given out right now by the government to various different entities that are studying like crazy the effect of nitric oxide in the body. Well, you can create nit nitric oxide in your body um, and supplement your nitric oxide through a really good supplement. The one I prefer is called Cardio Miracle. Um, so you can go to that website. And uh, disclaimer, if you buy Cardio Miracle uh, using our promo code, it's Dr. Brad, Dr. Brad, if you use that, you get a 20% discount. And then also we get a percentage uh, back to help us with our mission. So that's the disclaimer for that. Okay. So um, some important things about emotions and finding peace. You know, everybody in this day right now is um, uh, off balance, right? And what we really all want is peace, right? That's what we want. That's what we're all looking for. And that can be hard to come by in a situation like what we're in because the media is on a continual drumbeat of fear and how afraid we should be and how terrified we should be and so on. But that's just what the media does. So it's good to go on a media diet at this point, I think. I mean, tune in once in a while so that you know important things and announcements that are coming out. But to, to leave your TV on all day long is a really big mistake because there's just so much energy coming from that that will lower your vibration. And really, it's all about vibration, see? We want to be in as high a vibration as we can. One of the things that I have found that's really important is that if you have someone in your life that you need to forgive, this is a really good time to focus on that. Forgive that person. Maybe that person is you. Sometimes that's the hardest thing of all, is to forgive ourselves for some stupid thing that we've done. Well, if you did something stupid, join the club, right? Um, you're in the human support group. We're all in this together. We've all done stupid things. It's really a good idea to forgive because if you don't forgive, you're holding on to that negative vibration. And sometimes we think that, you know, that person really, uh, really hurt me and I'm going to withhold forgiveness to try to get even with them. But your withholding forgiveness from someone like that doesn't really hurt them at all. It doesn't do anything to them. It only hurts you. Um, a great uh, quote from Lewis Smead said, um, forgiveness is like setting the prisoner free only to find out that the prisoner was you, right? So I think it's a really good time to focus on those things. Good time to recenter and refocus right now when so many of us are restricted to our homes and so on, to focus on what's truly meaningful. You know, we have been so busy and so distracted, think about it, uh, for so long, for so many years, it's gotten worse and worse and worse, I think, as time has gone on, because we have notifications on our phones going off every two minutes for this or that, Instagram or Twitter or whatever it is, Facebook, and uh, it's so easy to be so distracted. But if there, is, if there could possibly be a silver lining um, to this thing that's going on, and... Uh, and I, I, my heart goes out to any of you who are dealing with grief from the loss of a loved one and so on. I'm so sorry. Um, this is a, a terrible, awful, horrible situation that hopefully will pass soon. But when this, when this is going on, I think it gives us an opportunity to refocus and I think that during this time, we are finding out what really matters, what's really important to us, what's the most important thing of all. And of course, it's our families, it's our loved ones. And um, so I think that that is something that uh, is maybe a silver lining, if that's even possible. So we want a sense of peace. That's what we want. How do we do that? Well, 
it's really all about ascending in that vibration, right? So if you think about it, what are the things that keep us down in a lower vibration? And those are things like fear, right? And fear and dread and panic and all of the negative emotions that are on the emotion code chart. So, I mean, if we take a look at the chart here, uh, look at all these negative emotions. The reason why we want to get rid of these energies that are trapped inside of our bodies is because they hold us down. They, they create weight for us that holds us down and prevents us really from ascending, right? They keep us in the lower altitudes and in the lower regions of vibration. And we want peace and we want love and we can do that. But getting rid of the emotional baggage that you have, you see, is so critical. But see, it's, it's not just that. In the body code, there are lots of other energies as well. Uh, there are offensive energies and mental energies and allergies and all kinds of things. But really, if you look at our existence in terms of vibration, everything that's in the body code is lower vibration. Everything. Uh, really, no matter what it is, if you've got some kind of infection going on in the body, that's a lower vibration. And the higher your vibration is, the less likely you are to succumb from something like what is out there now right? Because you become kind of, well, you're just vibrating so high that it doesn't stick to you, I think. That's just my own opinion, how I think this works. But it's useful to think of things in, in these terms, I think. And so we all want peace. Now, I'll tell you something. Um, I have learned that it's possible to change your emotional state just like that. And I think the best way to do it is to tell people how much you love them. Now, you don't have to tell people out loud. You can practice this. My wife and I were at Costco the other day, and you could feel the sense of panic. Uh, it wasn't overt, but people were zooming around with their carts faster than they had ever gone, faster than I'd ever seen them go. And it was just this undercurrent that you could feel of fear and dread and uncertainty and panic. And that's contagious. And I started feeling that as well. And I didn't like it. And I thought, ew, this is really icky. I don't want to be here. And so what I did is I started focusing on people one at a time and just telling them silently from my heart, I love you. And... When you do that, it changes your vibration. It moves you to a much higher level really rapidly. It took 15 or 20 seconds for me, and my vibration completely changed. And once again, I was at peace. And you can have total peace, even in a situation like this. When you say that to someone uh, silently, uh, it doesn't matter where they are in the world. They can be you know, in the next city, they can be on the other side of the planet. It doesn't matter. When you say that to someone and you really feel that and it's really coming from your heart, they immediately understand that on a spiritual level. Their subconscious mind picks that up, absorbs that, and that changes their vibration. See? So that day at Costco, uh, I walked out of there feeling very happy and in a high vibration and feeling love. And that's where we need to be. So you can do that. And so all of these things are things that, um, that I'm doing. They're all things that you can do. We can all stay in a higher vibration. We can work on each other. We can help each other. Luckily, with the body code, uh, as you know, we're not limited by distance in any way. So you can work with loved ones, family members. It doesn't matter where they are in the world. Uh, you can work with them and help them to function better and be healthier and have a higher functioning immune system. And uh, we're all going to get through this together. So thank you for listening.